Hello everybody, welcome back to our lesson today and today we're going to learn about giving and our lesson is called Barnabas Gives. But let's just have a quick prayer to start off our lesson. Father God, we just thank you for letting us have this time together. We just pray that you'll open our hearts open our minds so that we may understand this lesson and go forward and do your will in Jesus name. Amen. Right, so we're talking about giving today. So I want to show you some things and I want you to think about these things while we have the Bible reading. Now the first one is a toy. I want you to think about toys while we're reading the Bible story. One of the things I want you to think about is a toy. One of the other things that I'd like you to think about is warm clothing, like socks and a tracksuit, be it a tracksuit top or tracksuit pants and also like jerseys and t-shirts i'd also like you to think about food water um fruit or rice pasta i want you to think about things like that so I've given you some ideas of things to think about when you listen to the story that Phoebe Ann is going to read. And when we finish the Bible story, hopefully you have an idea about the toys and things that I showed you. And then we're going to answer some questions about it. So let's hop right in and let Phoebe Ann read us the Bible story. And Phoebe Ann is going to be reading our Bible reading. Acts 4, verses 32 to 37. The believers share their possessions. All the believers were united in heart and mind, and they felt that what they owned was not their own. So they shared everything they had. The apostles testified powerfully to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and God's great blessing was upon them all. There was no needy people among them, because those who, who owned land or houses would sell them and bring money to the apostles to give, them, to give it to those in need. For instance, there was Joseph, one of the apostles nicknamed Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He was from the tribe of Levi and came from the island of Cyprus. He sold a field that he, he owned and brought the money to the apostles. Thank you. So hopefully you guys have thought about all the little things I showed you before we did the Bible reading, like the toys the clothing and there's even food that you could have thought of during that Bible reading. Now I want to ask you how do you think you can share your toys? How do you think you can share clothing? And another way that we can share as well is by giving money or food parcels. How do you feel when someone shares with you, do you feel special? Do you feel happy about the fact that someone is wanting to give you something that you know is important to them? Do you like it when your friends share with you? But also I want to ask, do you like sharing? Do you share often? Sometimes it's very difficult to share, especially when you feel you've got some really nice things. Then it's a little bit harder to share than most times. But now the people that were sharing 
are good examples of a Bible verse. Let's find it quickly, which is Matthew 5, verse 42, which says, Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. So if you know there's someone out there that is really needing help, you can help them. And one of the ways that we can help is we can donate toys that we don't play with anymore. So if you go into your room and maybe even surprise your moms and dads by cleaning out your room a bit and seeing which toys you like to play with, and which toys you don't play with anymore, you can donate some of those toys. I know there is a place that is looking for teddy bears in particular. So if you don't play with teddy bears anymore and you want to donate them, ask your mums and dads just to quickly pop them into the washing machine, give them a nice good clean and you can donate it to this one um, place which I'll put at the end of the video because they come through and they can collect it. If you want to donate some clothes that you don't wear anymore because they're too small then pop those into a bag. The church can take it and our WA can sell it or otherwise, the same place that collects the teddy bears can collect the clothing. And they can give it to the children in orphanages that need them. And the, I know the teddy bears are going to children who are alone in hospitals at the moment where their moms and dads aren't allowed to come and see them because of the lockdown. And I think getting a special toy like a teddy bear will really make someone feel very special and loved. Because when they get that teddy bear, they remember that someone out there is loving them. And they're not feeling quite so lonely. So please, go and see what's in your bedroom. If you can't find teddy bears or clothing or blankets that you can share, ask your mommy and daddy to help you make a sandwich and a bottle of water and maybe a sweetie or a fruit that you can put into a nice plastic bag that's been cleaned and you can put it on top of your dustbin. So when it's dustbin day, one of the people that come past and go through the dustbins for recycling can maybe get some food in their tummy for that day. Maybe it's the only food they've had for that day or week and you've helped out, you've shared, you've done something special. So we always need to think of people that need something because there will always be someone that thinks of you in case you need something. And if you want to and you're getting your pocket money still and you're wanting to know what can I get with my pocket money, you can put some of that money into an envelope. And when we get back to church, you can say what you want that money to go to. You can write on that envelope that is for the poor fund, for the grocery fund, for the youth fund, for anything that you think we might need to use it for at church. And that money will go somewhere and we can use it the right way. So there's lots of ways to share. Another way to share is time. And lots of people don't think about that. So you can go and visit your granny or grandpa or auntie and you can spend some time and if your granny and grandpa can't see that well you can do something extra special and you can read one of your storybooks to them because that's one of the nicest things to do is spend time with somebody so when lockdown is over you can spend time with that person doing something that they like as well so what we're going to do for our craft today is to make a poster or you can do a card for someone that you feel needs thanks during this time. It can be an essential worker. 
It can be someone in your family that you feel needs a special thank you. So go and grab some paper and let's get together and work on a poster or a nice big thank you card for essential workers, for someone special in your life. Let's go catch up with Phoebe Ann and see how she's going to do with the craft today. I'll see you, Nana. Everyone, we can also now go through our worksheets that we've got with us that I've sent to your parents beforehand. And you can see what we can give. There's a little bit of sign language on the page. So maybe you can even learn how to say a couple of words by using your hands and learning some of those letters. And then there's also the page where we've got the story of Barnabas giving again on the next page where we can sit together and answer all those questions together as a family. So enjoy those two pages and let's see what we come up with this week. So as you guys can see, we can be very generous and share with lots of things we can share with our toys, our clothing, by thinking about someone and actually showing that they matter to us by sharing time with them and spending time with them. So I challenge you to this week to find someone in your house that you can share something with. Maybe it's even making them a cup of tea or coffee so they can have a little bit of time on their hands where they would normally be busy. So think about that and I challenge you this week to be kind and share something of yourself with someone else and think of how we can carry on doing this not just for this week but for the rest of the days of the year so we can help people all the time because there's always someone that's in need but let's have a quick word in prayer so that we can close off so that you can start this exciting week of helping and sharing someone that is very special to you let's close in prayer father god thank you for letting us have a heart and letting us have minds that we can think of that someone special who we can be special for. Help us to share and help us to grow. And Father God, we just pray that you'll help this be an easy task for us. And we just pray that we'll share your word as we share ourselves. In Jesus' name, Amen. So guys, go out there, find out what you can share. Find out what you can do to help somebody and make sure that someone knows that they are loved. That's the best sharing of all. And please share with me. Tell me what you're doing. Show me your pictures. We really, really, really want to see them. So have fun and we'll see you next week.